I need all the intelligent people to listen. Come up front, pull your chair up, come up front and listen. First of all, this is no way a slight to Queen Aaliyah, rest in peace, but enough is enough. It's time to start spreading some truth. That's what we do. It's your boy Heaven Hollywood for the IE Network, and this is the Heaven Hollywood Report. So let's get to it. So last night, we got a glimpse of the video from Normani entitled Wild Side, which sampled Aaliyah's one in a million. So already out the gate, all of the reports, people were saying, she sampled Aaliyah's, are you that somebody? So right out the gate, people didn't know what they were talking about. Right? It was one in a million. It was not, are you that somebody? I think people are looking for reasons not to like this record. And this record was from start to finish, from opening bar. I'm going to listen to myself before I listen to other people. Because I've been in this business 21 years. I was in the entertainment business, the entertainment industry. So if you're going to, if I'm going to listen to anybody that says the song is is not that good or she didn't capture the moment, it's going to have to be somebody who has just as much experience as me. Because I trust my word over other people's word who's only been on this planet half the time. You know when this song was fire, when I knew it was fire? When my brother, who's a producer text me at 3 o'clock in the morning and said, yeah, she's a problem. And you're talking about a real Aaliyah fan. My brother was an Aaliyah fan. It's still an Aaliyah fan. And he didn't get insulted by um, the sample or anything. So when people say, oh, well, who are you? Like I said, if I'm going to take someone's opinion I'm going to have to hear somebody that has been in the game or was in the game just as long as me. Listen to that and say, oh, no, she didn't do a good job with that Aaliyah sample. And then they'll be able to tell me why. These Aaliyah fans who are talking about, oh, she should just leave Aaliyah's music alone. Well, how old are you? I'm 24. Dude, you wasn't even alive. Basically, when Aaliyah was at, was at her apex. So there's some rules that I have for people that are talking about their Aaliyah fans. If you don't remember the towers falling, you should not be allowed to speak on Aaliyah. If you were not old enough to purchase an Aaliyah record, you should not be able to talk about Aaliyah. You're disqualified from talking about Aaliyah. If you're eight or nine years old when Aaliyah passed away, you weren't listening to Aaliyah music at eight years old. Unless you shouldn't have been allowed to. Because by the time she passed, if you were eight years old when she passed, she was already making mature music by then. It wasn't like the age is nothing but a number error. You know, it always comical. It's always comical to me when people talk about Aaliyah that was not around to witness Aaliyah's era. Was not around to witness the impact that Aaliyah had or didn't have. Let's just keep it a buck. All right. Because Aaliyah is gone now, she's remembered as having much more impact than she had when she was alive. And that's what this, this generation has brought. They figure because you die, 
all of a sudden you are a legend. That's not the way it works. Aaliyah was thought of as iconic. But let's not go so crazy when you talk about she's beyond redoing her records. Armand Wiggins. And I'm, I mess with you. I'm a fan of your show. I like Armand Wiggins. I think he's entertaining. I think he's talented. And, you know, I definitely will tune into his show every now and then. Bruh, I totally disagree with your take on this song. And I get that you got a, I'm not going to say working relationship with Cardi. You have a social media relationship with Cardi. I get it. So do I. I've spoken to Cardi in DMs before. I've spoken to Cardi before. Cardi sent my uh, daughter a video for her birthday saying happy birthday. But, bro, you can't give her credit for everything. <laughs> You know what I mean? I mean, the video was great. The song was great. And yes, I like Cardi's verse. I think people are just hating that said the verse was terrible. But let's be clear. You got to be realistic. If Cardi wasn't in that song, the song still would have been hot. I think she brought a certain um, feel to it. But if this, let's just say Cardi wasn't in the record. The record is still fire to me. Now... The thing is this, I where I do give Cardi more credit than everyone else is given is on the visual aspect of it. Because Normani even said she was very instrumental in getting this record and video done. Those are Cardi's visuals and I told people in my other video, Cardi B is making people step it back up. Because that was her visual team. That was her director from up. Normani didn't know that director. Normani hadn't worked with that director. That was her director from up. So Cardi's making people step it back up. That's where I will give her credit. But for you to say this song didn't capture the moment and, oh, Aaliyah had a vibe. What are you talking about? What are you talking about, bro? Aaliyah had a vibe. What are you? You're probably, what, 30? Maybe? You know, I don't want to slam Armand Wiggins. Like I said, I'm a fan of his show. But, bro, what are you, 30 years old? Aaliyah's been dead, what, 20 years? 21 years soon? Bro, you were 9 or 10 when she passed away. I'm going to assume you're 30. I don't know if you're older than 30. But, you know, I don't know if you were old enough to buy an Aaliyah record. And Aaliyah, and like I said, this is not in a slam Aaliyah session. Aaliyah was dope. Aaliyah was starting to reach her apex when she passed at 22. But let's not sit and act like Aaliyah was that chick where when she released stuff, the world just stopped. It did not. It did not. I know a lot of Aaliyah fans don't want to hear that. But she was not that chick like that. When Aaliyah was out and taken from somebody who was around during that time. When Aaliyah was out. It wasn't like people were like, yo, I'm waiting for Aaliyah to drop. There were so many artists out at that time. Mary J. Blige, Monica, Brandy. There were so many art, other artists out at that time. Maya was on fire at that point. Right? It started coming up to this time. Beyonce in, in the uh, late 90s with Destiny's Child. She was still in Destiny's Child. So for people who make that comment, you she's above. Just leave Aaliyah's records alone if you can't do them right. What, what are you talking about? Aaliyah... <laughs> 
Aaliyah did not have enough time in the game for people to be saying her records shouldn't be touched. When she passed, her, she was on her third album. Okay? A lot of Aaliyah's sales came after she was gone. Her first album, yes, Agent Number Number went double platinum. Well, went triple platinum. All right? But back then, triple platinum was, was, wasn't unattainable. If you're going triple platinum now, that's amazing. But back then, everybody was going platinum in the 90s. So let's just pump the brakes on saying Normani did this song no justice. If it's not, if it's a Leah, leave it alone. How old are you? That's the first thing. Stop talking on Aaliyah if you weren't around to to live and feel her impact or what impact she had. If you are a Leah fan and you're going back watching YouTube videos, stop. Stop. When I remember getting to an argument with one Aaliyah fan, I was like, I was like, what about the towers? How old you talk? I was one when the towers fell. And Aaliyah passed away in 2001, I believe. When you were, what, one years old. But you're fighting for Aaliyah. Pump the brakes. Aaliyah was very good. And she was coming into her own, unfortunately, when she met, met her demise. Rest in peace to Queen Aaliyah. But everybody, pump the brakes. This song was very, very well done. She did an amazing job with, with an iconic Timberland sample. Rest in peace to Queen Aaliyah. Great job, Bernamani. Great job on, you know, the visual team. Cardi B had a lot of input in those visuals coming out the way they did. No, it wasn't her video. But it was her visual team. And her verse to me got did what it needed to do. Was it an amazing? No, but you didn't need an amazing verse. Cardi B adds a certain sound. And it was perfect for that song. It's your boy Heaven Hollywood for Yai Network. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share this video with your friends.